Brandon, with the off day coming up, are you going with a four man rotation or might you still insert another starter in there? We're going to look to insert another starter here probably after the break. I mean, after the, uh, after the day off. Next is Rich. Hey, Brandon, uh, have any, have any players, uh, sort of quietly impressed you during this uh, difficult time, you know, who, uh, who might be in line for jobs next year? Uh, quietly impressed me. I mean, I think the guys that we talk about quite a bit, Cedric Mullins, obviously a great year. Um, you know, Mount Castle for me is, that's, it has, that hasn't been quiet either, but I've been really impressed with Brian. Um, for me, you're just seeing a, a, a young major leaguer make improvements in his second year and both offensively and defensively. But the, the quality of the advance that he's taken really those last couple months has been you know, pretty special. Uh, how hard he hits the ball, the athleticism, um, you know, the power, it's really starting to show up. Um, the bad luck a little bit too. He's he it's a lot of balls harder there at people, especially as of late. So I, I, you know, in this tough year, I think that those are, you know, two real bright spots for us going forward and potential impact type, you know, hitters in the lineup. Next is Dan Connolly. Brandon, adding a starter uh, after the, the day off, that coincides obviously with tomorrow's expansion of, of rosters. Can we expect someone from AAA coming up or, or could that starter be filled by someone you know, either with the club or on the taxi squad right now? Well, we can maneuver the, the rotation a little bit because of the day off, but I would expect somebody from AAA to make a start here sometime soon. Okay. Next to Stan Charles. Brandon, been kind of holding off on asking this question. I note that Trey is not playing today. On July 2nd, he had 15 home runs, 53 runs batted in. Uh, it's two months later, he's got five home runs and 11 RBIs in that time. Do you think it's a combination of being worn down physically and mentally? I think whatever Trey Mancini has given us this year is an absolute bonus from what he went through last year. And uh, I don't think anybody had any understanding of what his year was going to be. So for him to be in the lineup 90 plus percent of the time is a credit to him. Um, and shows a lot about his character and, and, and how hard he, you know, how much he wants to be out there, but going through chemo for six months and then, you know, having the, not, he hasn't had, you know, a good couple months up for him, but, and he's putting so much pressure on himself right now and he's taking it extremely hard and we have to constantly remind him what his world looked like a year ago. So, um, you know, I'm giving him a, 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 a day off today because he's, he's uh, just so hard on himself and he feels like he needs to produce and um, I'm just happy to see him on a daily basis. Thank you. Joe Treza. You did, Joe. Sorry about that. I had to switch from my computer to my phone. Because right. my phone. Um, when you look forward to the the final month of the season, is there any like larger goals that you just that you want the team to accomplish? Is there any any way that you want them to finish out the season just for for you and and also for them? Well, I, you know, I'd like to for us to start playing a little bit more competitive baseball. To be honest with you, this um, you know we've been in a couple games as of late, and let them get away from us. I'd like to see us win some of these games. I'd like to see some of these guys continue to improve. I want Ryan Mountcastle and Cedric Mullins and Santander and Hayes and these type of guys that I'd love to see them finish strong and, and finish with, with, with good numbers. Um, they, they do that. That's going to equal to some, some wins. Um, I think that it's a chance to see some, some other guys as well. Um, September is usually a, when you're in our situation or a team that's not in it, a chance to take a look at some other guys and, and get them, give them an opportunity and kind of make decisions, 
you have to, you have to make decisions at the end of the year, 40 man roster, et cetera. So um, I just like to see some of the, you know, some our guys finish the year strong and, and um, you know, win as many games as we can.